Customs House Museum and Cultural Center opened in 1984 as a Clarksville History Museum. And then in 1996, we built and opened up the extension and it became the Customs House Museum and Cultural Center. So we are a general museum, which means we focus on a little bit of everything. We have art, science, we have children's activities, just a whole gamut of things that we can do now. We have nine galleries here at the museum, and some of them contain permanent collection exhibits and storylines, but several of the 35,000 square feet of exhibit space is dedicated to traveling and rotating exhibits. My favorite part of curating these gallery spaces are the great artists that I get to know and work with, and sometimes it's a little sad when three months comes and we have to take their work back and not see them for a while. Most of the artists that we bring into our spaces come from Tennessee or have some kind of tie back to Tennessee. Sometimes they're artists who now live in LA or New York or Chicago, but it's great to have them come back to their hometown and the people that know them. By giving them spaces to show their work and sell their work, it's also a great place for them to just show things that are maybe a little more experimental. We are happy to be able to follow the progress of a lot of artists, and we have had several who have come back in five or six or seven years later after their first show with us. Education is a big part of our mission. There are several people who, if they don't have a museum in their hometown, that's, you know, that's their only exposure to the arts, to learning about the arts and experiencing the arts. Quite often we have children that come through here and see the art exhibits and then they go down to the art studio and they start creating something inspired by what they saw in the exhibits. I think it's very important for Tennessee to be able to have museums. We offer a place where people can learn something new and they can try something new and they can be inspired by something new. I think there's always something that someone can learn from a museum. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Martha Rivers Ingram Advised Fund of the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee.